Bird. I've got some seedlings that have been growing for um, a couple months maybe now. They're not doing so great. And I've been reading about adding a little bit of uh, low density uh, general fertilizer pellets to them. I'm going to see how it goes. Uh, pink salvias. Uh, at least through, I got about four or five of them. Uh, these have been in, uh, these have been sprouting since March. Uh, I've got well, what I called an an orange fluffy plant is really a gallardia from out front. There's a couple of those. Mexican sunflower. This is kind of tagging. It's kind of lagging behind its brethren. I've got a couple lupine that. I was hoping would be bigger than that. I think salvia, Mexican sunflower, which is again a little bit, uh, a little bit tardy compared to his brothers. Another one there, uh, Gallardia here. Another lupine, another pink salvia, and this is one of the smallest. Oh, that's a snapdragon. Well, we'll give that something and see what it does. Here's the uh, all-purpose fertilizer in question. It's just a two-two-two blend, and uh, I'm gonna, I've got a, got a few pellets, so I'm gonna put them on here also put them on what I call little blue flowers that I have out front and I don't know what they are but I'll show you what they are and we're gonna put those on put I put a little bit of a fertilizer on them as well so I just put a little bit it was mostly the dust on the bottom of the bag that I did so we're gonna hello bee and uh, yes yeah, so we'll see how also put them on my cilantro I'm sorry. Yes, that is cilantro. It doesn't really look like cilantro. It's not doing so well. I don't know. Uh, and then I've got some hollyhocks that are doing about as well as they, uh, its brothers are, but uh, I still thought I'd give a little bit. So here are the, the little blue flowers I was talking about. And they're very, they're very cute, a little whimsical. Um, look very cottagey and foresty. And here are the Gallardias that I've had in, down here for about four years, probably. I don't do anything to them, and they're very hardy, and they come back. And I'm definitely going to grab some more of their seeds this fall.